Question 3a, we're going to solve this square root equation. Now, <clears throat> the funny thing is, is that we cannot get the root of a negative number, okay? So, what we have to say first of all is what x can't be, okay? Because we can't get the root of a negative, okay? The root of a negative is impossible. You cannot get the square root of a negative number. So this inside here, this 4x plus 5, which is inside a square root, has to be positive, okay? So it must be uh, greater than greater than or equal to 0, okay? That has to be greater than or equal to 0, okay? So that means we subtract 5 from both sides and solve this we get that 4x has to be greater than or equal to negative 5. I want to divide both sides by 4. It says that x has to be greater than or equal to negative 5 quarters. Okay? So, or negative 1.25. However you want to look at it. So, that's a condition. So we'll solve this, but we've got to remember, look, our x has to be more than this, you know, because, well, and we can check it as well to, to see. Anyway, solving this, first step is isolate the root, okay? So let me let me make a point here. We're on three part A, and I just want to make the point that when you solve root equations, you can follow some steps. Like the first one would be isolate the root, okay? If I isolate the root, like I've got to get rid of that negative 4. See that negative 4 is not inside the root, okay? So I can add 4 to get rid of him, but I must add 4 to both sides then, okay? So that gives me root of 4x plus 5 equals what? 6, okay? The second uh, step, and, and with a square root, you would square both sides, right? Uh, and we'll see why now. Ah, both sides. Okay. See, squaring and square rooting are inverse operations, right? Squaring and square rooting are, are inverse operations. For example, if you had root nine and then you squared it, what would that give you? What's root nine all squared? Tell me. <coughs> Work it out whatever way you like. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Well, what's root 9 squared? It's 9, isn't it? You see, if you square a square root, you get the inside. Okay, now you could have said, oh, well, root 9 is 3, and then 3 squared is 9. Either way, when you square a square root, you'll always get the inside. Okay? And the reason, so at this, the second step, like I said, is to square both sides. And the reason we like that is because that'll get rid of the root. See, if I square both sides here, if I square this side, well, if I square this side, I must square the other side. But if I square this side, the square is going to undo the root, you see. And that'll just give me 4x plus 5. And 6 squared is 36, you see. And now I can solve this. This is just, just a simple linear equation now. So I've gotten rid of the root. So subtract 5 from both sides, and we get what? 4x equals 31, right? Divide by 4, and what's x? x equals 31 over 4 which is the same thing as, write that as a mixed number. 4 into 31 goes how many times? 4 into 31 goes 7 times remainder 3. So 7 and 3 quarters or 31 over 4, whichever you like. Okay. And that is more than negative 1.25 and uh, we can also check this and of course we should always check our answers. So, so another way to make sure that we're not taking the root of a negative of course is just to check the answer at the end. Okay. So if we check this we get 4 times x plus 5 minus 4 equals 2. Always check it in the original equation. That was the very first equation we got. Okay, so we're just checking it in here, right? So 31 over 4 was the answer. Okay. So, to calculate this out, what's 4 times 31 over 4? That gives us root of 
31 plus 5, right? Minus 4 equals 2, right? And what's the root of 31 plus 5? That is root of 36, right? Minus 4 equals 2. What's root 36? It is 6 minus 4 equals 2. Is this making sense? So what's 6 minus 4? That's 2. So if 2 equals 2, so that worked out. The answer checked out. And we did not get a root of a negative at any point. So this is a, a valid answer. Okay. So this is correct. X is 31 over 4. And that's one solution. Okay.